I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just so this is a pretty spring bunny, and I think that nice lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Today, we are going to really talk about how you can customize your artwork. How can you make it your own, okay? Change it up. Use the colors that you love. Use the supplies that you love. You can use watercolor paint, acrylic paint, color pencils, magic markers, crayons, whatever you want. Pens, um, just think outside the box, right? So I want you guys today to have a pencil to do your sloppy copy and whatever supplies you're gonna have to create with. Now you know that I am going to use a Sharpie marker just so you could see it better. If you were not watching me on the computer, I would be using a pencil, okay? Now, I gave a couple different options to do a barn, and it could be a white barn, it could be a red barn, it could be any color barn you want, because it's your barn. You don't even have to have a barn, okay? And your pickup truck, it could be a blue pickup truck, it could be a red pickup truck, whatever color pickup truck you want, right? So the most important thing to think about when you're creating your artwork is the contrast. So if you look at the barn right here, so I have a red barn. Well, I wouldn't want to do a red pickup truck in front of my red barn, but I could do a red barn here and have a white pickup truck or a red pickup truck. Oh my gosh, Amazon's here. I wish I could turn my computer to show you guys. <laughs> The truck is here. What's coming in the Amazon box? I'm afraid to turn the camera, but I hate to get sidetracked. All right, squirrel. <laughs> you know what that means? <gasps> like your attention goes elsewhere, but um, all right, I'm not going to get sidetracked and wonder what's going to be at my front door in a minute. Uh, anyway. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to sketch out the barn. Today, I'm going to tell you, you can have your paper horizontal or vertical. It really just depends on what you're going to do with your design. So that's why I'm telling you to customize it the way you like it. I'm going to sketch out the one that's horizontal, but it doesn't mean you have to make it horizontal. It means you can do it however you want. Ready? So again, I'm only using Sharpie so you can see it better. So I'm going to start... You know what? I'm going to start in the foreground. The foreground would be the closest part to you. So I'm going to start with the sunflowers. And they're going off the page. So they're the closest to you. So that would be that they're the largest. Okay. I'm going to overlap one over here. Give it a curly cue, like a double loop. A fun little corkscrew looking stem. Okay, 
Now, so that's the foreground. That's going to be the closest part to you. The overlapping creates the illusion of dimension. Now I'm going to do my pickup truck here. There's a tire. And you don't have to do a pickup truck. You could do a tractor. It could be anything you want, right? You guys could be creating a tractor with full of pumpkins and sunflowers or a pickup truck. But this is your artwork. That's why you got to customize it and make it your own. And you just use your favorite supplies. So what are you going to fill your pickup truck with? Candy? I heard you say candy. No. Let's see. What's it, what's in the pocket? You know, what good are overalls if you can't use that pocket? This is my favorite part of my overalls. Another sunflower. Okay. So fill your pickup truck with whatever you want it to be. You could have people in the back. You could put pumpkins. You could put sunflowers and pumpkins. And again, this is your artwork, so it doesn't even have to be sunflowers. It could be whatever you want. Roses, petunias, daffodils, dahlias. Think of your favorite flowers. Orchids. Orchids are very delicate. I don't think they're going to be in a big piling in a pickup truck. But hey, it's your artwork. I'll put one more pumpkin here. All right, now I'm going to put my barn back here. Hmm. You guys don't have to keep up with me. Do it at your own pace, okay? I know I go fast. So some vertical lines to make it look like barn wood. I'm going to put X's in here. You ready? For the barn doors. So really they're gonna be like big axes. Again, the planks on the barn, the like cold barn wood, put some pumpkins down here. Maybe a barn window. You could do the whole thing in pen, right? It doesn't have to be color. It could be all lines. It could be a line design. I'm gonna color mine. 
half the fun in autumn is all the beautiful colors, right? All right. I think that's all right. Pumpkins. Who doesn't love pumpkins? Who doesn't love overalls, huh? All right. See, I wish I could stick another one up here, but they're all they're all gently placed. Okay. So if we have a sunflower avalanche, don't be surprised. I'll be the one to jump, right? All right. So here's what we're gonna do next, you guys. We're gonna color it in, and I want you to use your favorite color. So again, do you want to make your barn red? Do you want to have a tractor? So if your tractor's red, don't make your barn red because we're talking about contrast. You want to have contrast, right? I could put one more sunflower over here. What do you think? Another sunflower? Just kind of going off the edge over here. Fill up that blank space there. Okay. Let's see where we're at. So you guys, today I just have a big pack of a big pack of brushes of all different sizes. So if you're gonna paint, use you know whatever you're comfortable with with size. Uh, and then if you're gonna use acrylics, have a glass of water to drink and so water down your brushes. But if you want it to look more transparent or see-through, you can always use watercolor paint or you can water down your acrylic to make it more transparent. All right, let's see. So I want to actually start with my sky in the background. Now, you guys, you can make your sky rainbow colors, pinks and reds and yellow. That would be like sunrise or sunset, right? Or you can make it a pale, pale, pale blue. I'm going to go with pale blue. Let's see how pale this comes out. Can you see that? Now, what did I tell you to do if it's too... Um, like too blue, all I have to do is water it down a little bit. I'm going to show you the difference. So all I did was add water to my brush. And it's just the more water you add, the more transparent or see-through it's going to become. So, of course, now I'm not going to want to make my barn blue because my sky is light blue. I could still do my truck blue because it's far enough in the foreground. Let's see. Let me get this sky done. See that? So it's not even, I kind of like, it makes it look more like sky because I keep adding water to it. So it's more transparent. And it just dripped down the canvas, but that's okay because I add a lot of water. Just so you can see the difference. More water over here, less water over here. So this is where it's really transparent. Okay. Give me one sec. That's not what I want. I'm going to try to give you guys the code. So you guys can come on screen at any point. Can you see that? 
That's for my live people, you guys, if you're watching me recorded. If you're watching me recorded, I just gave my live people, I just gave my live people the code to come on camera, okay? So our members can come on camera and share their artwork. But if you're watching it recorded, you can't come on camera. So when you guys see me pause like that, that's usually what I'm doing, okay? And you know my skills and technology are not the quickest. I'm getting better maybe a little bit. So um, I work on it every day. It doesn't come easy, okay? But I keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Oh, dear. All right. So now while my sky is drying, I'm going to work down to the bottom just to give it. There's no right or wrong. OK, but I just don't want to bump into my wet paint. So I'm going to go back and jump down to my sunflowers. OK, and you don't even again, you don't even have to. Oh, the sun just came out. As soon as I said sunflowers, the sun poof, came out and it got really bright. So I'm going to um, start with my brown center of my sunflower, kind of a brush. It got really warm here today. I'm so happy. I've had the heat on. You guys know I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and ugh, we've, it's been chilly, but today is the air's back on. All right, so there's the center of that sunflower and the center of that sunflower. Now you see how it's flat, like one flat brown circle, half circle, oval, whatever it is. Like to me, that's boring. It's too flat. You want to make it look dimensional, color it like lights and darks, give it some value. How could I do that? I could add white. I could add a lighter brown. I could add some texture. You see that? Just a little bit of a lighter brown. Gives it a little bit of dimension. And while you guys are catching up, okay, so this is a close up of our truck. You can add a tractor to it in any color. Again, just remember your tractor would be a different color than your background because you want your tractor to show up. So it has to have contrast. So maybe your tractor is blue and your barn is red. Maybe your tractor is, how about, what if your tractor is red, your barn is white and the sky is blue in the background? Okay, and then the you could have the road be gray, but just think you want to have contrast. That means it'll show up better. So don't do a blue tractor with a blue sky and a blue barn, but it's going to be one blue artwork, right? And here's another one. Here's another barn with the tractor. So that's how you customize it. You make it your own by deciding tractor, barn, am I going to have flowers? Am I going to have color? Okay, you guys got to make those decisions. I know, I know. I'm not going to make them for you. That's for you. That's how you customize it. All right, ready? Let's move on. I'm now going to do my, now you don't have to do it in the same order as me, but now I'm going to do my sunflower petals. Now this one is more orange, so I think it's too orange. I think I'm going to, did I mess up? No. I'm just going to get rid of some of this orange off my brush, kind of bounce around, and I'm going to scoop up some yellow. I just don't like to waste paint. So while it's on my brush, I'm going to use it. You see that? But I scooped up a lot of it, so let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it by using it, not by washing it off. Okay, now I scooped up some yellow. And I could mix that yellow right into the orange, too. Oh, boy. I'm going to do more yellow. So 
So this is a leaf over here. So I'm going to do a green. This one's going to be a leaf. So I'm going to do a green. See how I just kind of mix those colors together like that? And I can outline it later with black. Okay, so while we're doing that, I can put my green leaves in. And I'm not going to outline it yet. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to do my pickup truck. Did I put my paintbrush in here? I think I did. I was going to drink it, but hold on, let me get some water. So you guys, I have in the past accidentally drank my paint water, okay? Even acrylic paint. So acrylic paint is non-toxic. Don't do it on purpose, okay? Because it doesn't taste good. But wash out your brushes in water, okay? And next I'm going to do my truck. So I want you guys to use your favorite color for your truck. I'm going to use blue. But I want my blue truck to be of a different blue than the sky. Oops, that's got brown on it. Hang on. All right, let's see what this blue looks like. I got a little bit of blue. I got a little bit of brown in my truck. Does that, does that look blue? Here's my blue pickup truck. Again, or you could be doing a tractor. So I'm going to do my tire black. But you could do your tire gray if you want. Oh, whoop. I just flung a blue blob of paint at myself. Okay. 
So I'll probably do like white and gray or silver in the hubcaps and then black for the tires. Black tires. Looks like a black donut, doesn't it? You gotta save the middle for the silver or the white for the hubcap. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white, a little bit of white with my black, and I'm going to get gray. And this is for my hubcaps, okay? So my hubcaps is that little circle in the middle. And again, if you have silver, you can use silver. But just make sure that it doesn't get too close to the tire color because you want it to show up, right? You don't want it to be one big black circle. And then you can even use some gray, a little bit of gray for like the ground. It could be the driveway. You could throw some, I'm gonna put a little green in it, but. All right, so there's a little gray. I'll do the window in my truck later. I got to figure that out, right? We'll figure that out later. And any outlining with details we'll also do later. So I'm not really too worried about that. Now, remember we talked before about the background and the foreground? So the background's pretty light, right? Well, did you know that the farther away things go in the distance, the lighter they become? Or so if you look at the window or even across the room, the farther away it gets, the less detailed and lighter the color becomes because it's off in the distance. So far, far away, I have mountains. Well, my mountains are not going to be too intense in color because they're far away. So I'm going to use a different color than the sky. I'm going to I'm going to add some white to my green. Should I do my mountains green? Yeah, I'll do like they're like that mountains like with grass on them because it's an orchard, right? It's a farm. It could be an apple orchard too, couldn't it? Because it's my I love I love apples and pi apple picking. Have you guys ever gone apple picking? Oh my gosh, it's that time. I don't think they're ready quite yet, but it is time for like apple season. And I love getting fresh apples. Oh my gosh, Macintosh apples. All right, so again, this is gonna be my mount, my, you know, my farm. So again, it's, a little bit lighter, but I want it to stand out from my sky. Right there, I made it, look at, I made it too light. I added too much white and now it's blending in so I don't have that contrast. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more with a little bit more green. See? So that's way in the background. So it's going to be light. I could even make it a little bit lighter if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because then I'm going to do my green trees. So those are going to be a little bit more intense, right? So because they're closer to us, so you don't want to make them as light as the, those hills back there. So this is the green with white in it. And these, and look, I'm just tap, watch this. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. And again, you can go around all your little flowers because this is the background. Go around your pumpkins, whatever in your pickup truck.
I could make it, let's see, I can make it a little bit darker. How could you make your green darker? If you have a little bit of black or brown, tap, 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 tap. It'll give it a little bit of depth. I'm going to paint right over that stem. I'll come back to it and I will, you can paint around it if you want to, but I will just redo it again later. Tip, 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 tip. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so I remember before I did this leaf already. Oh, plus, you know, like here, maybe I want it to be, here it's all green grass, right? So I could do that over here also. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll lighten up my leaf later so it doesn't disappear because it's so close to the green. Look at what's going to happen. It kind of disappears, right? That's what I'm talking about with no contrast. So I can just re-outline anything that I've lost. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So like even here, see how close the blue and the green are? So I don't have that same contrast. What could I do? I could, let's try. I could put a little bit, too bad I got brown in it. Hold on. Let me see if I can mix up a good blue. Let's make it a little bit, see I got brown in it. All right. Let's try, I'm just gonna try a little bit of a lighter blue in here, just so you guys can, it can show up a little bit better. Does, does that show up better? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So I'm mixing that lighter blue that I use for the sky with a little bit of a deeper blue. So we have more, what's the word? Contrast. You can even put it over here, a little over here. Which way do you like it better? You like the darker blue or the lighter blue? I kind of like two-tone. It's an old vintage truck, right? What do you think? You like the light blue? See, now I'm going to have no contrast against the gray. That's why I need like a medium blue. It looks like my pickup truck needs a paint job, doesn't it? What do you guys think? What do you think of that blue? Kind of looks like the sun's hitting it, right? Sure, well, it's our story. We can make it any way we want to. Now, in the background, let's see. I'm gonna try to yellow this up a little. So the leaves, you guys, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and the leaves just started to change colors, all right? So I'm going to put some yellow and some green in my leaves back here. But I'm going to add some nice, beautiful, warm colors. Warm colors are orange, red, yellow, brown, any colors that make you feel warm. And again, I can even tap a little yellow in there. 
just tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. All right, so like here, this is going to be the tops of my trees. So I'm going to just start adding maybe a little bit of, how about a little bit of red? And orange. Tap, 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 tap. I'm just going to overlap them right over my green. Tap, 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 tap. Am I annoying you guys? All right, I'll be quiet. Because I love the texture that the paint gives. If you want to use a tool, you guys can always use a sponge to get that kind of uh, texture also. See that? Yeah, I'll even bring a little bit down here. I kind of like that look. Makes it look different, doesn't it? All right, so for my pumpkins, so you remember I got pumpkins over here, I got pumpkins in here. So maybe my barn should be white, right? Or my pumpkins would have to be really light orange or they could be white pumpkins or, you know, a different color pumpkin. But you wanna have contrast, right? So I could do a red barn, but then maybe make white pumpkins or red barn, no pumpkins. <laughs> So you guys, again, you guys decide. I I kind of like the white gray look and then the brown trim on the barn. I kind of like that old rustic look. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying to think of, do I want, I'm going to put a little bit, because I really actually like the way this is looking over here. So I'm going to do a little bit over here to make it look like the leaves are changing on this side too. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I'll quit doing that. It's probably annoying you. Yeah. All right, that looks, see that it's too much of a slide. I want it to look like leaves, so I'm gonna bring it. And I do like it brighter. What do you think? Does that look, look like it's starting to turn fall? Turn autumn? Well, it's already fall, you guys, but you know what I mean. Change of season. Things are just starting to change. Okay, so I'm going to put some sunflowers in here. And yours does not have to be sunflowers, you guys. There's my sunflowers in there. And again, I'll worry more about the details at the end. I'm going to paint my pumpkins in over here. All right. So what do you think? We decided we the brownish white barn for me, for mine. I don't really like this gray. Is that, it just looks like a gray shape, right? 
So I'm going to make turn that more again before I keep going. This is the awesome part about acrylic paint is I could change it at any point. So I'm going to actually make that a little bit more green. Okay. Again, we're on a farm here. Everything should be green and orange. And dirt road. Yeah, I like that better. I can even add a little bit more green to it in a bit. Get a little texture. All right, my barn. Let's get to my barn. So I'm going to use white, add a tinge of black to it. White, or you can even add a, t I'm going to do brown instead. Give it more of a rustic warm look because we're going for warm colors, right? So this part, I'll do that later. So I'm just going to add this in here. And it doesn't matter if you cover up your lines. We can add them back in. Later. Again, those are details. So we do the details later. Is that too, too brown? If it's too brown, you just add a little bit more white or maybe some water. What do you think? You think it's too dark? So all I'm mixing is some brown and some white together. Now, you guys, the truck window is, is see-through, right? So you're going to see the part of the barn through it. Well, my so whatever color your barn is, lighten it up a little as if you were seeing it through the window of your truck or your car, right? So it's transparent. So I'm going to add that in here because you can see through, right? All right, and then my doors are, have a little bit more brown on them. And again, I'm just gonna paint over the whole thing and then I'll re-outline it. Almost like two rectangles. And then my burn window is a brown. You could do a black, you could do a white, you could put a pumpkin in the window. You could add a scarecrow to your artwork. So I went out of the line. I'm not gonna worry about it, you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't tell anybody. It's between us. I make mistakes too. All right, so look, I'm just going to fix that up. I'm going to go back over it. Look. 
See that? No one knows. Don't tell anybody. All right. You could put a rooster on the roof. Oh my gosh, that would be cute. Could you add farm animals? Of course, you guys. Because this is your artwork. You customize it, make it your own. Do your favorite things in there. All right, let me get a little bit more brown on my brush. How's yours coming, you guys? You guys still creating over there? Maybe I'll do my X's white. Yeah. And I could add my little, let me get a really thin brush for my little, remember I like that, the little, see that's too thick for me. I think it should be thinner. But um, let me see if I can find a thinner brush. Yeah, baby, baby brush. Little baby brush. Okay. Anytime you want to come on, you guys can click on the link. So I'm just going to put some thin. See how much thinner that one is? And be gentle. Like, don't press so hard because then you'll get a thinner brush stroke. So I'm just trying to create the barn wood by drawing in with a baby little brush some vertical lines. I'm going to go into my black, do a little bit of defining here. Don't forget about the stems on your pumpkins if you made them over here. I forgot my little baby stems here. And the little stems and the pumpkins in the truck. Or if you guys do leaves. Okay, and again, I can go back and outline it. I'm going to do a little bit of, well, let me put some, I'll put it later. Let's do the white. You see how I kind of do it as I go? That's why there's no right or wrong. I'm just like, oh, let's go over here. Oh, let's go over here. But you guys can go anywhere you want to. You know what I mean? All right, so let's do some X's. Because I covered mine up. So look, I'm just going to do a diagonal line. Diagonal line. X. Diagonal line. Diagonal line. X. What's in the barn? The horses? All right. So now, let, again, let's think about you can add a little bit of white reflection on your window because it's glass. The windshield because it's glass. You could put some reflection on your truck again. You can outline it with, you could totally outline it with black, but I'm gonna put a little bit of white in here just to make it stand out since I lost so much of it. It's coming back, see that? And again, you guys could even add some white lines in your sunflowers. Like highlights, right? Like the sun is glistening and highlighting it.
see how before it was all kind of blending together and now it's coming back because I'm outlining it. Even though I'm outlining it with white right now, I can go back into it with black as well. So like right now, I'm like, that does not look right. Everything I'm, I'm liking so far with this big blob of green here, it's too flat. It needs some texture. It needs some lines. It needs something. I don't know. So I'm going to take a little bit of white. Let's put a little bit of white in here. Let's add some veins in our leaves. Let's see if that was enough. Does that help? A little bit, huh? Okay. I'm trying to see what else we could do. Oh, I gotta go back into it with go back into it with some black for like some outlining. You guys click the link when you want to come on and share. All right. So let's, I'm going to outline this, uh, the center part of my sunflower. Okay. And I can, again, go back into maybe those little lines in there. See how it's bringing it back so you can see it better. So those are details. That's why you want to just wait till the end to do it. Over here, let's do this. I forgot this roof over here. Kind of goes like that. You put the little lions on this side too, because that's part of the barn. Over here. Let's outline this. Maybe it'll look better in white. I can go back over it. But do you see just that little black outline and how it really brings it to stand out? And we can outline the whole pickup truck if you want. I think I need to lighten up some of my pickup truck. Okay, so like I'm going to put a little bit of highlight in my pickup truck, like for this part right here. And again, I could add, where's my little tiny brush again for the black, for the black outline. Find that little baby brush. Find that little baby brush that I put somewhere. <laughs> Find a little brush. 
Remember, the harder you press, the wider your bristle is going to spread. Well, if you want a real thin line, you have to be real gentle, almost like you're tickling it. Just go as light as you can so your bristle doesn't spread so far. All right, ready? So I'm going to try to do it as light as I can. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I'm using an outline over here to make my pickup truck stand out. Oh, I'm going to, Charlotte and Tatum, are you guys ready to come on? And re, yeah, because you guys look, you look like you're ready. Regan, are you, hey! Look at those watermelon shirts. Did you get your hair cut? You got your hair. But I, you guys, I can't hear you. The sound is off, just so you know. But how's your how's your pictures coming? Mommy cuddle hat. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You donated it. it. You donated it? Yeah. yeah. That is so the kids cute. Is canceled. The kids is canceled. How much how much did you donate? Do you know how long it was? 14 inches. 14 inches. You each donated 14 inches? No, it was 10. Wow, that's amazing. You see that's, the cows? I see the cows. The cows are amazing. Do you see this little um oh no. I'll take you a see? picture of mine when I when I'm done, but I'll show you um how I did. Do you I see, see this of... little truck down here? I see the truck. Mm -hmm. um, that was me. Was that? It's me. It's me and my husband and my little baby. What is that? What is that? Oh, I remember that one. Is this yours or mine, Charlotte? Is that the future? Um. Well, it's when I'm grown up and I marry someone. This is how far I was. I I'll love it. I'll mine when I'm done, okay? Okay. And you know what? I have to tell you guys, I'm so proud of you for donating your hair. I think Hi. that is... Bye. I, I think that that's really amazing that you've helped so many kids that have cancer. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. So do you know how many kids that'll help? What? What? Or do you know like how many wigs it'll make? How many? I don't know. I'm thinking 14 inches is a lot of hair. They're, I've they're hoping, I was only going to cut off about 10 and one of them said, but Think about those little girls. They might want long hair. And if we don't oh. donate enough, they can't have long hair. So off went 14. And so they wanted um, a little girl to be able to have really long hair. And then Raleigh's was about 10 inches that he got cut off. And I did all the haircuts. But. And I said, Raleigh. Okay, Raleigh. Yeah. Raleigh had. He did not wash my hair. Yes, he did. I got a haircut too, but I didn't donate it. Right. I understand. And you guys, I'm just really impressed. Not that I'm, I'm always impressed with you, but today you have just like blown every expectation I thought of because you just, you just made my day with you guys warm my heart. Do you know why? Cause you did that in such a caring way for people that you don't even know. That's so wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Um, um, Regan said that he doesn't want us to donate all hair to boys that we don't even know who we're going to donate it to. Yeah, they'll well, make the wigs and they'll give them to kids with cancer or alopecia. It's yeah, a, and they get to pick the wigs. That it's sounds in Rock, Rock something, Michigan, Rockland or something like that. I, I caught a stink bug and I named it Buttons and I have a pet hornet crab and his name is Luke. I have a pet with my crab and his name is Tad Jr. Because right, um, so but your stink bug is now your pet. Uh, yeah, my hermit crab is named T Tad Jr. and I just call him TJ. I'm not just saying it's Tad Jr. just because um um I just only had one because I didn't only have mm. one. One of my one of my hermit crabs that was my my old one I had before he he died so I got a new one. What do hermit crabs eat? 
and and my and my and my old woman crab he, he had um he had um he had uh he his name was Tad and now I have Tad Junior and I call him T J sometimes. Um and eat? um they eat um they eat fruits and vegetables. And what's a stink bug? And not uh, I don't know but but they're not tuna. Well they the um stink bugs I think they eat carrots and stuff. Uh, no, let me tell you what um, Alexa said they eat. Um, the only things that I can remember, they eat green beans and... No, not sweet beans. Soybeans. Soybeans and apples and, and pals. Wow. And that's one of my favorites. We gave my hermit crab um, a little piece of apple and a green bean. But we don't wow. have the other stuff. I don't know if we do. Well, thanks for sharing today. And Can we go and our, meet our friends? Well, they haven't clicked the button yet. So I'll leave you guys down below. And when Emma and Bella come on, I will let you guys come back on and say hi again. Okay? Okay. Give us love a couple minutes. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I forgot, you guys. Again, I forgot a couple things. Let's see. My pocket. I got more in here. My Sharpie. No wonder why I couldn't find my Sharpie before. My paintbrushes. I got snacks in here. Oh, there's lots of fun stuff in here. You know what else is in here? My friend. We have a surprise guest. You ready? Who's a surprise guest? Do you know who it is? It's Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent, I'm so happy you could come visit us today. <laughs> Look, it's Mini Vincent. And do you guys know why Mini Vincent is here? Oh, man, I lost it. I bet you I dropped it. Anyway. All right. Oh, I brought you back on the camera. Hold on. I was going to show you Vincent. Look, Mini Vincent. Because Vincent Van Gogh loves sunflowers, you guys. One of the world's most famous artists. And his favorite flower is sunflowers. And his favorite color is yellow. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you guys today also. And we're just going to wait for Emma and Bella to come up and share. I know they will. Let's see what else I could fix. So like this, again, you guys fix your stuff however you want. I don't like this little, it's too flat. So I can give it a little texture. I got to paint my headlight in, but this is just too green for me. Guess who's here? Emma and Bella. Hey girls. Hello. We're still working on ours because it's oh. longer today because I know it's more, don't go. I went quick just cause, um, yeah, I just went quick, but Oh, they look amazing. Oh, that looks great. And I did go fast. I just want you to know. So, this is a horse right there. Oh, I love the horse. <laughs> He's just sticking out in the bushes. Do you have pumpkins or do you have watermelons? I have but watermelons in my truck. I love, did you see it? The girls have watermelons on their shirts today. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Oh, that's perfect. It's a watermelon day. <gasps> that looks, oh my gosh, you, you got people in your truck. There's people. Hey, little you. animes. There's there's people in a bouquet. They're in love. <laughs> oh, oh, they're in love. Oh, oh backstory. So that's cute. I love the new haircuts that uh -huh. that the girls oh, have. Yeah. Have. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Did you hear that they donated 14 inches? That, that is amazing. That's a lot of hair. Yep. That is definitely. We have hair. someone with hair too. It's just, <laughs> no, it's fur actually. It's fur though. Did you see her sleepy face? Sleepy face, yes. She is so cute. She's just a sweet. She's face. a little witch cat for Halloween. She, yeah, we need to make her little hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Halloween, okay, people who have black cats don't let your cats out on Halloween because people can hurt them because yeah. of superstitions or whatever. Oh. So your cats inside for Halloween. We've actually people heard that. Yeah, we've actually even heard that um, shelters do not let people adopt black cats super close to Halloween because a lot of people have bad intentions. Yeah. Oh my, I would have never thought of that. Can you imagine? Yeah. That? Look, look at her. Look at this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought I heard a cat. It can be a little bit 
crazy sometimes, but she's like the she's most like, adorable little yeah. thing I've seen. I'm seeing right now in this oh, exact moment. So <laughs> Go put her back. She's adorable. You want that the the twins want to come on with you, okay? Yes. yes. Hold on. Kitty, All right, here you girls go. Ready? <laughs> hey, Ch Charlotte and Tatum. Hi. Hi, girls. Hi. 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 You guys, hey, new haircuts. You guys look Hello. awesome. What's your kitty's name? Her name's Luna. What? Luna. 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 A uh, Luna? That's a cute name. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Hello, girls. <laughs> She's doing her jerk fist. <laughs> She's not being very cute right now. <laughs> She's um, it, um, it's very, very unrelated and like out of nowhere note. Have a virtual tic tac. That's delicious. <laughs> Is it pumpkin? I caught a stink bug. It's a TikTok. Ooh. Ooh. Think about it. I, I caught I one too, but my mom it. caught it for me. My stink bug was in my house. Oh my god. I don't think they have stink bugs in the keys. You guys have stink bugs or know what they are? My stink bug was on the roof and then I knocked it off. They're yeah, disgusting. Cool. They don't hurt you, but they're like they came from China and they're pretty big. They're about bigger than your thumbnail. Do you know what happened to me when I got a green stink bug? What? It peed on me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and the, other one, the other one peed in its tiny cage that I caught. <laughs> I'm glad they're, it didn't they're, pee in our house. They're, they're, like they're just disgusting. So when I moved to about eight years ago where I am now, I never saw a stink bug before I moved here. And I was like, what is that? I mean, huge. And again, it's bigger than your thumb. And they have a hard shell. And they call them stink bugs because if they spray, they stink. So, like, you know, sorry, you guys. I, I you catch a Can you be quiet when you say they stink? Because I have mine right here. <laughs> but he's in a cage. Mine fly. is in a big old cage that it can actually fly in. Wow. So did you hear Bella say that she filled her pickup truck with watermelons? And yeah. You guys have water and you have watermelons on your shirt. I heard you say that. Mimi gave our shirt this to us. I got paint on it somewhere on it. No, like somewhere. Did you see my overalls? I got paint on my overalls. <laughs> oh, I see the green paint. Is it green paint? My window's green. I'm not the neatest painter, but you know what? It's okay. Whatever, it's all right. I'm okay with it. I like you, cat Luna. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. She's really cute. Thank you. Yeah, she went by. Well, you guys, thank you for creating with me. Share the pictures with me. Have a great day. You what guys are we going to paint next time? Hey, I don't know how late you guys stay up. For Friday, we're doing the witch brooms. The witch who's picking out the different brooms. Did you see that one? No. We're doing Fun Friday, and it's witch, witch you brooms. You mean a witch? It's a witch, but it's the back of her, and she's got three brooms to choose, which she wants to fly. I saw that, um, and and I didn't really know um when we did it because I thought we did it before, but we but we didn't. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think I saw it. I'll post it and when I we're done. We made it. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun to see. Like they ready. Well, you guys, thanks. And your stuff looks amazing as always. One last view. Everybody hold up your artwork before we go. Okay. Um, I didn't really finish most of it. That's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They look great. All right. You know I'll what? I just roll with my baby in it because I have a baby girl. Let's post a picture of it in a little bit. Tomorrow, whenever we have time. Okay. Oh, look at her. She has a green mustache. <laughs> Did you see that? Don't do that, girls. <gasps> Too much your watermelons. Yes. <laughs> it, it looks like a stem on a pumpkin. <laughs> it does. Yes, it does. All right, Bella, That's now you just green. a little green right here. Oh, she's wiping it off. <laughs> Did you see her green mustache? Come close again, Bella. <laughs> Can I see your mom? 
Did you hear? Hi. Hi, Irina. That's so funny. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up today. My stink bug did not stink. He doesn't even stink. What do you mean he stink? What do you mean he sprays? sprays? He doesn't spray. He does when Why do you think they call them stink bugs? Like hermit crabs pinch when they're scrounged. They call them stink bugs but for a reason. Mine. Mine didn't stink when it thought it was a board. Mommy mm. said it, um, it thought when I kicked it off, it thought it was a board trying to pack it so it flew, but I didn't smell and stink. I'm glad. <laughs> Why doesn't it stink? I don't know. Maybe it's like it doesn't stink. Maybe it's bit its stink pot so now it doesn't stink anymore. So it bit its stink pot so it doesn't stink. You know it's 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 spray pot is is on it's 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 bottom bottom yeah and that's what it pees. <laughs> it's All right. We'll it's talk like about the anatomy of a stink bug on another day. So smelly things. I gotta, you know what? I wish I had a grasshopper on my window right now. That's false. A a, I have a grasshopper on my window. Do you guys see? Or is it a cricket? No, it's a cricket oh, probably. One, I, one, I, one, I, one, one time, time we got a grasshopper, grasshopper on all window two. We used yeah, to I think it, 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 oh, it, it was green. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thanks for sharing. Wow, well, what are the other girls? Why are the other girls? I, I don't know. I, I didn't ask them. I, I think they've been busy. So hopefully they come back soon. And that's why I've been doing fun Fridays because I think some of the kids can't make it during the day. So more kids can come on Friday. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Okay, how fun was that? Should I? Oh, I forgot. You know what else? How are you going to get into the truck without the handles? You guys have forgot my handles. My handles. Then I got to go. Then I got to go wash my brushes. And the door. I, you guys, I didn't. Oh my gosh, you cracked me up so much today. I didn't even finish. Let's go back to the white. Hopefully, it's not all dried up. So, acrylic paint dries pretty quick, and it's warm here today. There's my door. Can you see that? No. There's my door. Better. Now there's a door to get in. So just re-outline anything that you lost, right? Any little details? What am I gonna do the handles? I'll do the handles black. And what else do I need? The little light here. You can always outline it with a marker when it's dry.
Now at least we can get into our pickup truck. And I just, one thing, I still just don't like that. So what am I going to do? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of yellow. A little, a little bit of tapping over here. This is the grass, right? It's just too flat. I like to give it texture. A little more yellow. Oops, that's where my blue blob went. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's stuck to my board. All right, let's see if I can hold this up. All right, I put these on here so carefully, but I want you guys to see up close. It's not perfect, okay? I could keep outlining it. Woo! See, now I'm gonna regret taking it off of there. You know, again, if you want a nice clean line to outline, you can always use a marker or Sharpie. They're coming be better back together. What do you guys think? Right here, I'm going to add a little bit more, and then we're going to be done. Done, 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 done. We're never done. I don't know. Maybe you keep working on it. Maybe you add more to it tomorrow or another day. Maybe you do it in different days. I thought that was too straight and I felt like I needed some more warm colors. Plus I'd like to tap. You guys are in the watermelon mood. Is it watermelon season? What do you think? I think that's good for today. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's our sunflower flower farm for today, you guys. So I used acrylics. You guys can use any supplies that you love, right? Smell the, sm I was gonna say smell the roses. Smell the sunflowers, keep creating, be happy, do your best, right? The more you guys do it, the better you're gonna get at it, right? Think outside the box, change it up, put whatever you want to in your pickup truck, do whatever color burn you want. You guys are awesome. And I will see you again soon. Thank you for creating with me. Bye.